Hey guys, it's already June favourites time. I feel like every YouTuber says this every month, but this month has gone so quickly. First of all, I am sorry for the banging and the wind in the background. My office is like right at the top of the house, so when it's a windy day, the cupboards all tend to like open and shut. And I've tried to put things like in front of them so that they aren't as like clangy, but you can probably still hear them and they're coming from like all different directions, so sorry if that annoys you. Anyway, I'm just gonna get straight into it. I've got a few little bits and pieces that I've really been liking this month, and I'm gonna start with highlighters because I have three highlighters which I have been absolutely loving using, and I've been using all three of them pretty much every day, to be honest. That sounds very excessive, doesn't it? But I'm really into my like glowy, highlighty look at the moment, especially with it being summer and everything. So the first one is a really weird one. It's Marc Jacobs, and I didn't even realise that they did makeup, but they very kindly sent this to my peer box. And it's like a little deodorant stick, and you twist it up, and it's a highlighter, and it's kind of like a yellowy, like champagne-y toned highlighter, which I don't normally go for. Normally I go for like a pink toned highlighter. But this is just really beautiful, really natural. I like the fact that it's in stick form, so you, it's really like quick. If you're in a rush, you can just like smear it on your face like that and then blend it in with your fingers. This one is in the shade 700 Spotlight Glow Stick. It's called Glistening Illuminator. It's got like little glittery particles and stuff in it, which yeah, I just really am enjoying using that. The second one is, <laughs> this is like the tiny version of it. This is the Benefit High, oof, the Benefit High Beam highlighter, which I have previously loved when I was probably like back in the day, it must have been about four or five years ago the last time I used this highlighter. I just recently fallen back in love with it and it's just this lovely, pink toned like liquid highlighter which you can kind of just paint on your face. It's like a little nail varnish bottle. Um, and it's just really handy for like going on holiday with and stuff because it's so small. Chucking in your bag for like touch ups and stuff. But I just love the tone of this because it's really like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just really like pinky, like pretty, pearly, girly highlighter and it's still quite natural. So really enjoying that. And the third one is this beautiful, beautiful packaging. It's the Illamasqua, I don't actually know what it's called because it doesn't say on this packet, but it's from Illamasqua and it is this gold highlighter, which looks pretty aggressive for a highlighter, but you can, it's so pigmented that you can kind of put as little or as, or as much on as you want. And I just find in combination with each other, these three give like the most, lovely kind of radiant glow to the skin and I know it's really excessive using three but I can never choose because I love them all so much at the moment so I'm just using them all so I'm putting this one on first and then this one just above and then this one all over I'm like a proper highlighting bitch right now <laughs> oh my god did you just hear that slam then? <laughs> Okay, next up is another kind of highlighting product. It is a moisturiser, like a face moisturiser, but it has like highlight in it. And you can wear this just on its own if you're having a good skin day, or you can wear it like in combination with foundation, which is what I usually do. But I think I want to kind of move away a bit more from using foundation every day, just because I know when I have my baby that I'm probably not gonna have a chance to do makeup every day, so I kind of wanna get used to how my face looks with less on it. This is called Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. And for a start, this smells so good. It's like a, it's like a chocolate coconutty kind of scent, but it just reminds me of being on holiday. Like it smells like sun cream. It smells so, so good. I just want to put it all over my body, to be honest. And it's got like this lovely color to it. it this one is in the shade Nude Glow and ow. Oh. It basically just gives you the most beautiful like sheen to your skin. Like it really makes dull skin kind of come alive and just look really healthy and not sweaty, but like, <laughs> that sounds bad. Not sweaty, but like just really dewy and shiny and 
it just gives me the finish that I really like on my skin so I've been really enjoying that I've actually only used it a few times you can probably tell that it's still quite full but you only need a tiny bit anyway so that also means that it's going to last a long time next up I have a couple of like pregnancy favorites and they're from a brand called bloom and blossom and the first one is an oil and this is a bath oil it's called bloom and blossom indulgence bath oil I don't normally have baths and I don't normally use bath oil and this is probably the first bath oil that I've ever used actually and I've already used like half the bottle it's quite a natural product there's only seven ingredients in the whole product which are like almond oil and flower oil and leaf extract so it's really natural you basically put like a capful or a couple of capfuls into your bath and then you take the bath and your whole body like your whole skin <laughs> just feels really like nourished and replenished afterwards you don't have any dry patches it smells quite natural but it still has like a nice relaxing scent and I started using this because I found since Grayson hasn't been in nursery when he goes to bed I like to have like a few minutes where I just have a bath and relax and I don't do anything I don't speak to anyone I don't use my phone I don't watch anything I don't read anything I just take a bath and chill and this has been perfect for that because it makes me feel really relaxed I'm just getting oil all over myself right now preventing stretch marks and reducing appearance of scarring I'm hoping that works <laughs> but it's just a really nice little it just feels like a bit of an indulgent treat at the end of the day and then after I use that I then use the Bloom and Blossom Anti Stretch Mark Cream. Now I have a favourite stretch mark like balm which is the mother's balm from I think it's from Neil's Yard and I'm on like my third pot of that but I'm on my second pot of this which is kind of a very different consistency really inoffensive smell again which is what I always go for it just smells really like natural and like just not strong like you can go to bed and it wearing it and it's not overpowering or anything I don't think I've actually opened this pot yet this is my second pot all ready to go um, but as you can see it's more of like a a creamy kind of texture whereas my other favorite one is like it's like a I don't know how to explain it. it's very beeswaxy anyway it's just a really lovely like natural product it sinks into the skin quickly it feels really like light and whipped when you apply it and I would definitely recommend it if you are pregnant. My next favourite, no I always do that don't I, next favourite. Next up I have a nail varnish and it is from Essie. I never used to like Essie, I'll be honest. I used to think it was overpriced and I didn't like the formula, I didn't like the shape of the brushes. But they've changed them the last couple of years and I really like them now. And this is a shade which is a variation of the shade that I always use um, because I can never get away from either a nude or a red that's just what I always wear on my nails it's what I feel comfortable in and it goes with every outfit and this is in the shade fairy Taylor. it's kind of like a pinky nude color and it has like a gel finish so it's really shiny which I really like so I, I feel like that makes me feel a bit more like finished like made up even if I'm not wearing any makeup or if I'm having a lazy day I just really like having my nails done still because I just hate having like chipped nails <laughs> so I'm really liking the formula on this and it seems to be lasting for a really long time and the colour is like my perfect colour okay next up I have some children's clothes which I don't normally put in these kind of favourites I normally do these as like beauty but these are so cute so this is from a brand on Instagram called Cozy Cubs and just look at this little jumper it's so cute and the quality just feels amazing he hasn't worn it yet but I just love the print I love the colour I think this is going to be so nice in autumn as well it's just that really nice like I want to say like a prune colour but that makes it sound kind of gross but yeah just really like the print and then he's got these little stripy leggings as well which he loves because he thinks that he turns into a tiger when he puts them on so yeah they were a winner um, but I really like the like combination of the prints together and the quality of the fabric is just so lovely and I will link them down below in case any of you fancy going to check them out my last favorite is a mascara and this is the Revlon volume and length magnified mascara I 
My last favourite mascara I think was the Charlotte Tilbury one and that ran out and I basically just some reason didn't end up replenishing it and I found this in my dressing table that I hadn't opened yet so I decided just to use it that day and it's so good like I love the wand because it's like one of the like more old-fashioned type wands like a bristle wand instead of plastic applicator it's just a really good formula it just does what it says you only need a couple of coats it's like inexpensive it does what it says on the bottle and I just really really like it I really rate this as like a high street mascara and I think they do a few different versions um, but I just really like the brush on this one and yeah that is it Whew. I always talk really fast in these videos and I get to the end and I'm like oh I'm actually out of breath anyway I hope you guys enjoyed my little favorites video this month and let me know if you try any of these products or if you already like some of these products and I will see you all in my next video.